First tonight at 5.30, a busy area of Warwick will be dealing with a week of detours. This as crews continue to make repairs to a sewer pipe on Sandy Lane that broke right before Thanksgiving. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Steve. Mike Caroline, in December, I stood right here to tell you that Sandy Lane was being shut down for work. In January, we told you it was back open, and today it's closed, but likely for a much shorter amount of time this go around. Despite the snowfall, crews are at work on Sandy Lane again. Just it's not helping with the road being closed. But definitely sales are off when that happens. Peter Exaros runs Sam's New York system on Sandy Lane. His dad is Sam. They've been serving up hot wieners all the way, despite the fact the road outside their business was shut down for weeks. No, not going to stop us. We'll be here another 50 years. In November, a sinkhole opened up on Sandy Lane because of a sewage pipe failure. We drove the detour put in place while crews shut down the road to make the repairs. The road reopened in January, but Sandy Lane is being shut down again for seven days starting Monday to make the final repairs. Our sales are, you know, we're, we're increasing every year and then that this happened, uh, it just it definitely is off. We drove that same detour again on Monday and sped up the video going east up Whitford Street, then to Ingalls, up newly paved Range Road and onto Cedar Swamp. It only took us four minutes in real time, but the timing of this week-long closure is bad, according to Exaros. It's, unfortunately, it's this week, it's holiday week for kids, and we're usually it's a busy week for us when kids are out of school. But um, hopefully, you know, people still come out, still open, been here over 50 years. So this project is expected to take approximately one week. We'll update you on when Sandy Lane reopens. No businesses in that area are closed because of the work. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.